Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Terry Lee and I'm new to this whole YouTube thing. I've been wanting to do it for years so I finally decided to make a channel. So today's video is going to be a what's in my makeup bag video. I personally like these videos because I like discovering new products so hopefully in this video you can discover something I use that you might like too. Let's get on with this video. So the first item that I have is hmm, should I do this in like face order? Okay, I'll do like skin products first. So firstly, I'll show you the primers I use. So the first primer I have is this Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. I everyone knows about this. I'm pretty sure. So I've been using this one for years. It's not expensive and lasts forever. But I also use the Mecca um, Sun Series Sunscreen because you can put this under your makeup. So I basically use this one when I'm at work or I know I'm just going to be indoors and I use this one when I'm going out and I know I'm going to be out and about so I have sunscreen on my face I'm just out here trying to prevent getting wrinkles so <laughs> this one here is like what? I think this one's like $16 and this one here is like 20 bucks and they both last forever highly recommend both of these especially this one because sunscreen is very important I used to have that mindset that you know I'm brown I don't need sunscreen but you do even if you're brown, you need sunscreen, so go get yourself some sunscreen. Hashtag not sponsored. The next product I have is my only foundation, which is the Bobbi Brown foundation. I only use foundation when I'm going out, like to a wedding or a party or an event, because I just don't like wearing too much of makeup. I don't like how it feels on my skin, and I prefer more of a natural look, so I've had this for like maybe two years now. And I like it. I don't know much about foundation, honestly, because I don't wear it much, but I think this one is good. I recommend. So moving on now, we have concealers. I have two concealers that I use at the moment. The first one is this Morphe Hide and Seek Concealer. This one, it's a corrector, but I just use it under my eyes or I tend to get like white patchy spots. So I use that for that. And it's nearly finished and it's really good. And it's like 19 bucks. And this one on the expensive side, but like look at this, there's lots of product in here. It will last forever. And it's this Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. And I like it honestly, like I recently got this one. I can't remember when, but it's like one of the newer ones I've been trying out. And I honestly like it. Before this one, I was using a NARS one and I didn't really like it. And I even tried an hourglass one and I didn't like it. I think this one is my favorite so far. And oh, I just dropped it. But the Morphe one I previously showed you was pretty good too. So next in my bag, I have this Mecca Off Duty Contour Stick. I've literally never used it. I've never contoured in my life. And I bought this to try it out and I'm too scared to contour. So hopefully I get brave one day and practice contouring so my face can look snatched. <laughs> The next product I have is this Mecca um, Off Duty Glow Stick. So I like more of a natural highlight look. So I just use this glow stick, honestly. It has like no pigment. It's just gives you like a dewy glow. And I highly recommend this. I really love it. The next thing in my bag is eyebrow stuff. <laughs> so what do I have here? So for my eyebrows, I sometimes use this Essence Make Me Brow. It's just like a tinted brow gel which is like four bucks <laughs> and I also use the what's it benefit brow stick and gel so it's just like it's like a crayon if you see that a little crayon and then on the other side it's a brow brush and the gel is just clear and see through but I don't fill in my eyebrows often I still I'm trying to figure out how to. I'm not very good at it. I tried today, so if my eyebrows look bad, I'm sorry. I'm still learning. Because <laughs> I just tend to put like the tinted brow gel. The next thing I have is the mascara I'm using currently, which is the Hourglass Mascara called Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. And I really like it. I just bought the minis just so I can try it out. And I think I will definitely be buying the um, full version. Before this though, I was using the Too Faced Better Than Six Mascara and I've been using that one for years and I really like it. A lot of people don't. It's like a hit or miss, but I really like it. But I might move on to this Hourglass one. So I recommend trying it. I really like it. For setting spray, I use the Morphe Mist and because it's like quite cheap and it does the job really. 
so I recommend this. I just have the mini version at the moment because I was too broke to buy the full, but I will be buying another one soon. Oh, I forgot to show blush. The blush I use is this. I've been using this for like two years now. I literally got it from like a dollar from a clearance store. It's like this Maybelline blush stick. It's nearly gone. And I got this tester from Mecca, which is the Hourglass blush stick in the shade Adore. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. I'm currently wearing it right now and I love it. So I will be buying the full one once this tester runs out. And I've been using this tester for weeks. So maybe I might just get another tester, honestly. <laughs> Who needs the full version when you can get like testers? <laughs> The next thing I have is just my beauty blender, which is not actually a beauty blender. It is $2 from Kmart. And my eyelash curler, which is like $6 from Kmart. And for my lips, before I put on like lip balm or whatever, oh no, before I put on lipstick, I use the Sun Balm Cocoa Balm in the scent Ocean Mint. This is actually my husband's. I stole it because I lost my Burt's Bees. So, thanks Harry. And after I use like the lip balm, I put on just this MAC lip liner in the shade Spice. You can see that. It's just a nude color. I just want like a natural lip. And on top of that, I put on this lip gloss that's called Gloss Boss Lips by Mecca. It's just the current lip gloss I'm using at the moment. And I really like it because it's not sticky. And I've owned this like three times before, so recommend this lip gloss for something that's not sticky and if you just like lip gloss but yeah that is everything i have in my makeup bag so that is it for today's video guys thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end of this video please like comment share subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you in my next video